Since young, I never considered myself as an obedient girl. To my parents, or most parents, a good daughter must be raised within the model of a lady figure or be as ideal as Princess Diana. Ironically, I was named after the Royal Highness. I was painted to have bangs above my brows, long, well-combed black hair, dress up with well-ironed botanic dresses, train to be a light walker, and speak no louder than the birds. Unfortunately, I fall everything of the opposite. I had my notorious days during my polytechnic studies, abandoned my dream as an artist, and leave home for days. Talking to myself and feeling old. Who am I? Sometimes I'd like to quit. Nothing ever seems to fit. Hang it. I did waitressing at pubs, dance for quick money and did everything in order to find myself. Ultimately, the search came to no conclusion but bad relationship with my parents. I yearned for their understanding and love. But these never reached them, especially my mom. When I turned 20, I took up a design diploma in La Salle SIA College of the Arts. Though it's hard, I managed to survive my last major project during my third year and was offered a chance to study another year for a design degree. I'm glad that finally I could see things further and achieve things more than what I think I can be. Hello? I poured in all my courage and guided myself to face this nightmare. Uncle, keep the change. My heart couldn't stop aching when I saw my mom. I could tell she's afraid. Pipes were all over her and her face was as pale as a piece of white shit. My mind was nothing else but only the reflection image of this selfish daughter. I couldn't do anything. I decided to stay by her side. I couldn't stop my mind from thinking of the worst diagnosis that I will receive from the doctors. I thought that if drama happens, I have to be the best actress that I could ever be. Every day, I have to bring a smiley with me. I just want to lessen the pain that she's going through. I still remember how heavy were my tears when the doctors announced that she was diagnosed with last stage of breast cancer. None of us could accept it. I knew I have to be there for her. I offered my hand and convinced my mom for immediate treatment. We should walk forward and never lose that grip of that small glimpse of hope. It took me quite a while to realize the lady who my parents or my mom want me to be isn't anything similar. The obedient daughter image was just a society template of what she thought was better off for her beloved daughter. In her eyes, I was that rare gem. It's been five years ever since. Today, she's doing pretty well as a housewife, a part-time English student, a cancer survivor, a caring grandmother of my brother's children, my best friend, and of course, my precious gold.